So at the end of part three, we got the call from Fayetteville approach that we were to expect the RNAP approach to runway 04 with the Mizaki transition. So we're expecting any minute to get another call for our descent when we reach the top of the descent point. We've already looked at the approach plate and we know that that altitude is supposed to be 2,300 feet. And we've set the GPS up so that we're ready to execute the procedure just as soon as they give us the call. Seeing that we're about 1 minute and 21 seconds from fitting. And while we're waiting, let's go ahead and set up Fayetteville ATIS in our 430. That's frequency 121.25 what the weather's like there. And we're using COMP too, so we won't have to tune away from Fayetteville Approach in case they call us while we're listening. Fayetteville RGNL Granis FLD Information Hotel. Zero hundred Zulu weather. Wind light and variable. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 12,000 scattered. Temperature 20.2.1. Altimeter 3027. Arriving runways 0410. Departing runways 0410. Advise on initial contact you have hotel. Winds light and variable, runway 4. So it looks like we don't have to deal with any crosswinds. So looking good. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha descent and maintain 2,300 feet altimeter 3027 at Fayetteville REGL Granis. Send and maintain 2,300 feet, Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha. So there's our call for descent to 2,300, and we need to set our altimeter to 3,027 as well. So just like the published approach. Approach cast at 859, So we'll set up the autopilot for about an 800 foot minute descent, go bridge on our mixture, go back on our power, and start our descent. Past the fit and waypoint now, and we're on our way to the hooks transition. We've reached hooks now with 500 more feet to go. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha Altimeter 3027 at Fayetteville REGL Granis cleared for the RNAV approach to runway 04 at Fayetteville REGL Granis with the Zigi transition. Aircraft calling approach, say again with your call sign. Altimeter 3027, cleared for RNAV approach to runway 04, LR7 Whiskey Alpha. Okay, so we've been cleared for the approach and we've reached our uh, descent altitude of 2300 and we're leveling off and powering back up. So now we'll activate the approach and that should take us on into our transition at Saji.
We're still 14 minutes away from Zaji, so we'll move ahead. Belair 7 Whiskey Alpha, you have traffic at 1 o'clock, 1 miles and 2,300 feet. Traffic in sight, Belair 7 Whiskey Alpha. So we're about 42 seconds from the transition Saji and you can see the GPS is drawing a course following the holding pattern turnaround. We expect the autopilot to make a good effort at executing these turns, but it is notorious for breaking off and flying straight if it can't handle the turns. I'm ready to take over if that happens. Let's see how it does. So far, so good. Coach, good morning from the United 463, 11.8 for 11,000 with November 300. United 463, Scott Hill, first from my 9 left. 9 left, how you doing this morning? Do first. getting ready with the heading bug because this is usually where it screws up. Let's pick up 3613 with the 13.4 for 12,300 knots with November. 7,000 Wow, I'm amazed it's doing this well. That is incredible. I have not touched a single control. Belair 7 Whiskey Alpha Altimeter 3027 at Fayetteville REGL Granis Contact Tower on 118.3. Enjoy your evening. Tower on 118.3, Belair 7 Whiskey Alpha, good day. Okay, there's our handoff to the tower. We're ready to start the final approach. Fayetteville Tower, Belair 7 Whiskey Alpha, inbound RNAV approach, runway 04. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha, good evening. Squawk 4650, continue RNAV to runway 04, call when established on final. We'll call when established.
established on final that our seven whiskey offer. We're now at Saji, the intermediate approach fix, the IAF. We begin a 500 foot minute descent now down to Sendlo, the final approach fix. We put the autopilot in approach mode to increase sensitivity as we come down the flat slope. It's important to put the heading bug precisely on the approach course, 038 degrees, as the autopilot slaves off of it rather than the VOR. I'm going to go ahead and set the VOR to 38 as well, but it's just for a reference and doesn't matter at all to the autopilot.